seen this car driving around town? Well, today we're going to meet two of the artists for the second Hammond Bay Studio Tour. On today's program, Living with Autism, a Mother's Perspective, Rapid Fire with the Nanaimo Clippers, and the campaigning begins. But what's in it for you? That and more in the next 30 minutes. Today on Go Island, we are getting, well, I should say exclusive access to Valerie Capewell's studio. She doesn't usually let anyone into her space, but today we are invading in the name of art. The Hammond Bay Studio Tour is coming up April 26th and 27th. We're going to meet two of the artists, Cecile Van Voonsel and Valerie Capewell. That's coming up in the next 30 minutes here on Go Island. In the meantime, autism is a complex mix of neuro disorders and we're going to meet one mother now who shares what it's like to live with a child who has autism. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4 and one of the things that's great about this job that we get to share with you is access to places that maybe you don't usually get to see and this is one of those places. This is Valerie Capewell's studio. She dedicates one day a week to working in here and you've described this as your, your escape, your, your meditation cave. Yes, I, I have my music's fairly loud. I come in here, the phones are off and I just paint. And some, sometimes, actually, when I go to paint, I'm, I, what, before I get in here, I think, oh, what am I going to do today in, in the studio and worry about what it is that I'm going, going to accomplish. Yeah. And, then, and then once I'm in here for a few minutes, everything's, all that's gone. So we have and a blank canvas here. Yeah. Well, it was blank uh, just a moment ago. <laughs> is it intimidating? Is it, is it no. exciting? What do you think when you, when you start? It's not exciting. Okay. <laughs> a little bit scary. I no, don't know. No, it's not scary. It's just I want to get into it. So okay. um, I, once I get into it, then I start seeing things that I want to do with it, and, and it just sort of evolves. And you've got big strokes. Yeah. Bold color. Yes. Is that a style of yours, sort of a signature? It is um, now. Um, I used to do much more representational work, and um, I'm much happier doing um, abstract um, okay. type work. Um, I like to see what how it evolves. It, it sort of has a life of its own, and um, I really enjoy that. Okay. And I like building layers and colors, and and just uh, my paintings really morph from one thing to another, and that's just what I really enjoy doing. Well, let's see yeah. a little bit more. And, and how do you know when you're done with the orange, or if it's in the right place for your your composition of abstract? I this is not looking very good. <laughs> And, We're um, making her nervous in her space with a TV yeah. camera. There's no music um, on. <laughs> yeah, no, it just, uh, I don't know until it just, it just feels like I need to change. And why did you choose this color uh, I like today? It. I like this color. And okay. I just finished another painting and I used a lot of this color. Um, but um, uh, I didn't want to use yellow and I didn't want to use blue. I'm not a big blue fan. I like warmer colors. And so I typically sort of lean towards those colors. Okay. Is there is there a name for this stage of your creative process? You're sort of getting into the mood of it. It takes a little while to warm up in any um, kind of activity. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, I suppose I'm just warming up. Okay. Yeah. And right now I'm not see, seeing much or feeling very much. <laughs> um, but really, it's. Um, uh, after this, after this uh, interview, I'll probably do something completely different. Put this one away, or no, no, we'll no. see it on the walls oh, no. in your home. How exactly. long would it take you to create a piece? Because what I'm getting at is that maybe we will see the result of this at the studio tour that's coming up. I'm at hoping the end you of the will month. actually. Um, it, it'll it'll probably take me about three days to finish this. Okay. So. Um, with a weekend and a couple of Fridays, I can probably get it done. Excellent. And because it's been featured here on Go Island, it's going to be. Uh, coveted very much by all the people that come out to the tour. That's right. It's going to raise the value by like 100%, right? Yes. Just because <laughs> you've seen the process this far. Yeah. Okay, we're going to take a look inside your home. Okay, a sounds bit later good. on at some yeah. of the artwork that you can okay. see at the upcoming Hammond Bay Studio Tour running uh, the last weekend in April. We're going to do that after a short break. Still ahead today on Go, rapid fire with Nanaimo Clippers goalie Jason Argue. The provincial election campaign is underway and David Lenham's top 10 in music. That and more still ahead today on Go.
You are watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4 and today we are now inside the home of Valerie Capewell. She is one of the artists on the Hammond Bay Studio Tour. She's actually a graphic designer by trade and designed all of the imagery that you see for the tour. It's coming up the last weekend of April. We had the privilege of spending a little bit of time with you in your studio earlier and what we started in there would end up something like this. Yes, that's exactly. Well, it's obviously the one in the studio is going to be different than this one, but that's how that one started. And I always try to analyze artwork. What, mm -hmm. what, what, but with abstract, you can't really do that. No. So, so when, when, when we're looking at this, what are we supposed to be feeling, picturing? Not that supposed to is the right word. Well, what are you hoping to invoke from your viewer, maybe, is the question. Um, well, I call this painting Summer in Light. Okay. So you can take that as uh, it's, it's colorful. Um, to me, actually, it's quite floral, um, but there are no flowers yeah, in, I can in see the that. photos, I in the photo, or in the, in the uh, painting. Um, I almost see an eye, the green almost with the red around it, and we can get uh, a close-up of it later and put it up in there. So I almost see a, an eye, a dragon eye in there, and it does look almost um, iris-like. Right, yeah. 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 Very different than your piece that you have over here. Mm -hmm. Different mood, different time. Yeah, not, not, that's a fairly new painting as well. Um, I've been doing a lot of work with layering as well, and that one is quite, a, has a lot of layers in it. It's called uh, Jungle Speak. Okay. Now, now I remember which one it is. Yeah, it's, there's two that are very similar. Um, and it's just sort of, there are eyes, there are leaves, there's lots of layers, so it's as if, is it, it's as if mm. you're kind of in the jungle, mm -hmm. um, and that the name just evolved from, you know, what do I see when I when I actually finish the painting? It's just like, oh, what is this? And you know, what do I feel? So it's I'm getting I'm making an impress I get an impression of what the artwork is, and someone else will see something completely different. And then you're learning about your yeah. work through the eyes of others yeah. as they come through your home at something like a Hammond Bay Studio tour. Right. Okay, we were going to talk about what it's like to open up your home, yes. but we're going to save that for okay. our next stop because after we throw to, which is uh, tech speak for what we're going to do next, throw to rapid fire with Dan Marshall and the Nanaimo Clippers, when we come back after that, we're going to be in another home with another artist that is participating in the upcoming tour. Here's Dan Marshall. You are watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. We've moved studios now in anticipation of the upcoming Hammond Bay Studio Tour. We're no longer at Valerie's house. We're here at Cecile Van Voonsel's studio looking at drawing instead of painting yep. this time. And you're a biologist by trade, and that comes through in your work as well. Tell me about this piece that you're working on and how you approach it. Okay, so how I'm going to approach it, at first I need to see the tree. Right. So I'm wandering around at a certain area of mostly Vancouver Island. Um, this was a Salt Spring Island tree and I really wanted to see a tree. And finally I saw this bunch of roots and then I'm taking tons of pictures. And I really look at things. And what I are you look looking for? The, the roots are going, how... Um, yeah, here you cannot see it really well, but there's a lot going on. It's like, um, for me, it was like, an, if you're looking into the belly of somebody mm. that you see all the intestines and um, not that I want to express it but it had some yeah. some really cool things that I that my imagine imagination is rolling and that is what I like to see when I see a tree but when it's finished is it going to be this contrasty the different the darkness and the light yeah, yeah. And so you're playing with the contrast very yes. nice, deliberately I do, I do. I leave things out, I add things in, and um, often I don't know what happens until I look back and come again to the picture and then I like, oh, that looks really nice. Or maybe I need to touch this one up a little. Okay. And you commented earlier that you look at things as a biologist instead of as an artist. What does yes. that mean? How are they different? Um, my way of looking at things is more thoroughly maybe, more analyzing how it looks like um, I really go into depth mm. instead of that I'm approaching everything from different angles are you trying to evoke emotion in people through the work um, that is not my primary reason uh, right. my primary reason is more that I want to 
catch all the little cracks, all the little mosses, what I see in the tree, I'd like to translate it into a drawing. Okay, we're going to look yeah. at some of the finished pieces in just a few minutes. In the meantime, it is time for This Week in BC with Sean Leslie. The provincial election campaign is finally underway, but what's in it for you? You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. We're getting a very small sneak peek at the upcoming Hammond Bay Studio Tour, which runs April 27th and 28th. You can get a detailed map and a list of the participating artists on their website, which you see on the screen right now. And I think we need to do a little bit of bragging on Cecile's part, on your behalf right now. You have a commission piece at the Nanaimo Airport? Yes, I do. Describe that one briefly. Okay, that is a, a big mural. Um, it depicts all kinds of activities, what you can do outdoors in, on Vancouver Island. In the Central Island. So when you're at the Nanaimo Airport, think of this woman here, Cecile. And you have some, you had some public art the first time around in Maffeo Sutton Park. Yeah, yeah, also. Yeah. And this is your finished piece behind you here, Hank, one of yes. your pieces. What's it like to open up your home to people to come in and kind of look around? And I know I'm a bit of a snoop, so I'm always looking. You're going to have all these eyeballs in your house. Are you comfortable with that? Yes, I was turning my home into a gallery. So this space will be emptied out and I will have my artwork hanging there. Right. Um, also in the kitchen, there's also an area where I display my paintings. And I have something to drink and something to eat. Mm -hmm. And uh, people are really looking at the house like, wow, this is cool. This is fun to see. And it's really a mini gallery. That is how I see it. And I was welcoming people. Do and it, it felt great. Do you think it's a richer experience than just looking at, at art on the wall in a gallery? Um, or just different? Yes, I it? think it's, it's just a little different because I, I want to imitate a gallery, but I cannot because I have all the personal stuff in here. Yes. Um, it's really staging a house, like you have a viewing for a real estate, but a little different because yeah. people are coming for you and not for the house. And you're meeting new people too. And I meet new people too and they can ask me questions and everything, which they, um, if they are going to a gallery, the chance that they will meet an artist is rare. Then you have yeah. to go to an opening. Excellent. Well, thank yeah. you very You're much. Welcome. It's been a pleasure meeting Cecile. And earlier we did meet Valerie and getting a close look at some of their work. You can do that at the upcoming Hammond Bay Studio Tour. We're going to throw things over now, down now to David Lenham. It's his top 10 pick for music. A little excerpt from the scene. That brings us to the end of this edition of Go Island, the Hammond Bay Studio Tour, the second one. They're doing it twice yearly, the last weekend in April and the last weekend in September. You can get details through their website. Thanks for watching this edition of Go Island. We'll see you next time.